take the Fisher Johns melting point apparatus off the lab bench shelf in front of you. Unravel it and ensure to plug it in. This apparatus contains a thermometer, an on and off switch for the light and the heating element, a intensity knob for the temperature, and the light source itself. You will require a set of tweezers, a spatula, glass cover slips, a magnifying lens, and a brass crucible. Start by placing a cover slip onto the heating element. Make sure the temperature is off. Using the spatula, pull out the tiniest crystal you can possibly get and place this onto the cover slip. Now, place a cover slip on top of your crystal. Start by turning the intensity up to about 70 or so. Upon first signs of melting, record the lower edge of the melting point range, and also turn down the intensity by about 10 or 20. Once the substance is fully melted, record the higher end of the melting point range. Turn off the heating element, turn the intensity down to zero, move aside the lens. Use your tweezers to pick up the hot cover slip melted material and deposit it directly into the glass waste bin. You want to do this before putting the crucible on to avoid fusing the glass to the heating element. Now take your crucible of ice and place it on the heating element and allow to cool. Once cooled, remove the crucible of ice, disassemble the lens piece, make sure to hold the plug while unplugging the machine. You need to rewrap it the way you found it, as shown. Once finished, put it back on the shelf above you.